gentleman accused of gang raping and murdering a woman in New Delhi last December have been found guilty by a court in New Delhi. I'm Deborah Khan. Joining me now is our Asia editor, Paul Beckett, who was in India during uh, the, this case. So, Paul, um, what do you think the reaction is? I think a lot of people were expecting guilty for, for the four um, men. I think there was an expectation to be found guilty, I think in part as we reported a few weeks back that the defense kind of crumbled when one of the men admitted to being on the bus. Uh, and up until that point it had been a unified defense where they said, we weren't there, we don't know what you're talking about, and one guy said, I was there and so was everybody else. So uh, I think it was widely expected. It's been pretty quick by Indian standards, I mean this is a very high profile case, it's a fast track court. Uh, you know, nine, ten months seems like a long time in some other jurisdictions, but by Indian standards, this was lightning fast. Okay, now in terms of sentencing, what can we expect? Well, I mean, since this rape and since the protests over it, the government has increased the severity of punishments for sexual crimes, so they would face a possible death penalty in sentencing, which will come in the next few weeks, I think. Okay, and uh, as you just mentioned, you know, laws have really changed um, because of this case. They've become stricter to um, help women and protect women against sexual violence. Um, are we seeing any impact in those laws? I mean, it has been, uh, you know, since, since last December. I think you're seeing a lot of impact in terms of uh, the aftermath of this crime, which was so widely reported, that the number of reported rapes has actually increased, which in some ways is a good thing and that doesn't necessarily mean more rapes are happening, it just means more rapes are being reported. Um, the key to all of it, you know, nobody's going to say that stiffer punishment is a bad thing, but the key to all of it is enforcement of those laws and that will take a much, much longer time. It's a much tougher job. You have to get, make the police more efficient, the courts more efficient. The laws, having the laws in the books is one thing and implementing them is another. Okay, and of course there were five adults in all. One of them though died in, in prison. Do we know anything about that investigation? Uh, last I heard on that, there was still in dispute that the prison authority said he committed suicide and the family and his lawyer uh, questioned that analysis, but I don't think that that has been resolved yet. Okay, and, and the juvenile, obviously uh, last month was handed down uh, three years um, in some sort of uh, prison for juvenile. Mm -hmm. uh, was there any backlash from that? I mean, how, uh, how was, what was the public reaction? Uh, th there wasn't too much. I think at the time that uh, he was uh, put into the juvenile track, there were questions and some agitation over whether or not he really was a juvenile. But since that was verified to the court's satisfaction, then I think that is how the juvenile justice system works. And I don't think there was much over that. I think the thing to watch here is whether the four convicted today get the death penalty. Uh, if they get life imprisonment, I think uh, there'll be plenty of people, including the victim's parents, who wish they'd got a harsher sentence. Okay, thanks very much, Thank Paul you. Beckett. A lot of people watching this case. For more on it, you can go, for more live coverage, I should say, you could go to WSJ.com. I'm Deborah Kahn.